Hello everybody, this is Elias here with EH Tech Support. Um, I wanted to do a quick video uh, showing you how to do a mouse over menu. Um, this is going to be done in HTML, uh, HTML and CSS. So, but it's going to be done on the CodePen website. Um, this is a pretty wonderful website, CodePen.io. Uh, lets you edit a lot of code um, and you can download it as you go. So I'm going to put a link to that um, on, the, on the description below of this video. So um, in case you wanted to play with the code a little bit, of course. So uh, let's go from the beginning. So um, I'm going to create a new, a new pen, which is what you have to do when you're creating, um, uh, when, you wanna use, when you want to start a, a new project um, with code pen. I'm going to call it, um, you know, mouse over menu. So we're going to name it that. And then what we're going to do, we're going to create a... Um, a box in here where we can tell the menu where to go, where to be, what location to be. So, first thing is uh, div class, and uh, let's see, we're gonna call it a menu container. Menu container. Uh, very simple. That's what you would type um, to get that menu. Over here, um, again, I'm not using JavaScript, that's why I lowered this down. So I'm going to put um, some information here, down here, that will make, that will tell us what to do. So, uh, so it's that menu container. Container. Close that out. Now notice um, it's a dot here. Um, if it was a, an ID, um, It'll be a different thing. Uh, so, um, okay, so let's enter this code here to make this fast because these videos, they take a long time to make. So, um, so let's put, uh, let's see, background. And I'm going to change it into, let's put it into a gray. And then we're going to put a width. With F. Um, let's see. Uh, Let's give it um, 500 pixels, okay? You can make this as big as you want, but I'm doing it for presentation purposes so um, so that it makes sense to you. Give it a height of 50 pixels. Now you see um, a gray box appeared over here. That's a div. Um, so the next thing is we're going to make that div. Instead of having it be here, we're going we're gonna to center it a little bit. Uh, that way, um, just to organize it to that location, you can obviously organize it to wherever you want to, but that would be in, another, in a different video um, as we go on. So, uh, let's do it for a margin zero pixel, uh, yeah, margin zero, and then we're gonna put it out. So, it's gonna send to that as you can see. So now that we've gotten that out of the way, we're going to start putting that menu in here. That really cool menu that you can actually put your mouse over and uh, look, really, look really cool. So uh, let's do that. So um, we're in the menu. Um, you'll have to create a UL. Uh, UL. And then you're going to have to close that UL at the end. So. I'm assuming that if you're doing this, if you're learning to do this video, you probably you probably know a little bit of HTML. I'm not expecting you to know so much of the HTML, but just enough to be able to understand uh, these basic concepts. Um, if you don't understand it though, I do have a really cool video that you could look at and um, will help you more, give you basic understanding of what HTML is. And um, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna be working on creating more videos uh, to help you guys out. So I'm gonna do um, L1. The list item, and uh, then we're gonna do a, a link here, a simple link. A H R E F. Then we're gonna name it. We're gonna just name this page that we're gonna that is in, that is supposed to be going to. We're gonna name it into index. That HTML and uh, index HTML. Then we're gonna close that out, and we're gonna put. We're gonna call it home. And I'm going to close that out again, too. Um, call it A. And I'm going to do 
A L I. Okay, so we're also closing that L I. Now this video is gonna take a little bit. It's gonna be pretty fast. Um, so you can see we first have a, we have a first uh, list item. Now I'm not gonna type all this stuff up again, and that's one of the things you're gonna have to learn about HTML when you're writing code. There's a lot of stuff that's repetitive, and if you understand what it is, it's gonna help you in the long run because you can actually copy and paste. So for instance, right over here, um, I can copy this and I can paste it, paste it paste it and make as many as I need so say let's usually just say for a standard we're gonna use just use five that's what everybody uses at least five five links like that but you can obviously you're welcome to do more I'm only doing this because of presentation and I don't think that it, all these links will fit in the box here and you're gonna know what I mean by uh, by that so um usually these I'm gonna name them differently so index.html we're gonna call this um about .html yeah, we're gonna just tag it over here as about so so on that action about um let's notice how it starts changing over here so we, we go in here and you put in um index instead of index we're gonna put um uh let's see another page that faq so we go here we change it into faq Not FA. FAQ. Then we go in here and we change it in this into services. And we change this part over here, the services. Now these pages have to be in your website in order for them to load. So they should be in, on your folder or server. So just, you know, just so you know in case you're wondering. Um, we're going to do a contact page um, link. Contact HTML, we name this contact and contact. Okay, so now we have the link set up um, the way we want them to. But notice how this doesn't look that well. You know, this is doesn't look really nice, and um, there's some styling that you can do with CSS. And uh, I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So uh, we're going to move into the CSS part of this really cool part. Uh, the tutorial so um let's go and do this add some css to make this look nice so the first thing you need to put some css in the uh, ul which um let's see url ul is going to have a list style i can type today for some reason type and we're going to call it none because we're going to get rid of those dots over there uh, then we're gonna then we're do an overflow. Overflow. Let's hide that. Okay. You probably don't know what this is about, but later on it'll make sense. Padding. We're gonna do zero pixels. No, oh, there's no padding on the left side, as you can see. Um, and so we're gonna do also do a margin as well. Margin, I'm just going to call it a zero pixel. Okay. Let's make things more neat. Um, from here and there, we can go into um, adding the list items or the links. These links, we're going to we're gonna just put some, do some nice changes to them to make them look big. Um, I'm hiding this information over here. And the reason I'm doing that is because when you're working, you want to make sure that you can have a, as much real estate. At least in my end, you need, you, you need as much real estate as you can when you're coding because it, it, it makes a difference for me at least. Uh, so, so let's put some, some, HT, so, some CSS on that list item. So, li, um, a, and then we go and do this here. But, um, okay, so let's enter the background. And um, this is just uh, I have a standard. I have a color that I like to use a lot. Um, it's FF nine nine two zero. See how the colors um, changed a little bit there to orange. Uh, that's what they're supposed to do. That's the color they're gonna be now, because you change the background, the background of these guys, this item. As you can see. 
So the next thing we're gonna float this to the left. You see, now everything is all to the left and uh, there's no spaces between these guys. The links are just getting prepared um, to look nicer. It's a process as you see. Um, we're gonna do a padding of course so we can give them some space. That is important uh, in this situation here. So, uh, padding. And we're going to give them a 15 pixels. 15 pixels each. Uh, and then we're just going to give them a 20 pixel. There you go. 20 pixels. Okay. Then um, what we're going to do is we're going to um, do that. Uh, <coughs> Okay, so I'm going to align this text uh, to the center. Um, center that out. Again, this is something that you don't see in the background, but once it's done, you, it, it, it makes everything work together the way it should. Display. That does. Black uh, text decoration. Let's give it none. Okay. And I'm going to change your border. Now, um, another cool thing you can do with the border is now each individual box is going to have a little border you can change that to make it look nice you can change it to the color that you want it's all up to you um so border solid uh let's see solid i'm gonna do let's see what's a nice um uh, okay see how it already started to change a little bit too thick so we're gonna put a um solid on uh, one pixel to make it thinner and you can actually change the color to gray right there you see it changed the color matching the color here, the background color, which is really nice. Um, then you have that. Then you have, um, but you have something here. And I wanted to go back to this because it's very important um, if you're writing code. This space is a little bit too big in here. So what you want to do um, is you want to put, a, you want to change that, that width to 450 at least. Uh, not 450, I guess 4, 4, 440 probably would be better. 30 maybe, uh, 35 huh, 31, there you go, 31, uh, just notice how it's looking a little better, I went back to that because that's the container right here that's holding this menu, um, so, it's very important, um, so, okay, so now, now that we did that, um, solid, gray, um, so uh, we did one pixel. Now um, we want to change it so when you put your mouse over here, it changes to a color. Lets the visitor know that they're putting the mouse over that. So in this case, uh, what you want to do, again, um, it's pretty simple. You go in, type A, hover, and uh, give it some. Let's see. Uh, Change the background. Background to let's see background to uh, see ninety. Not too sure. I think that's the one that I use. I just want to make sure. Yeah, it's a different yellow, but that makes sense. It's, it's orange. So it goes from orange to yellow. Um, in this one. And uh, you go padding, same thing for padding, so um, so that it makes sense because if you don't do the padding uh, the way that you have it up here, for example, it will be different, um, and you don't want that. You want you want fifteen to twenty, okay? Fifteen to twenty. 
Planet BX and close it out. And then you hide your board. Solid. You can actually change it to uh, dotted. Believe. Dotted um, black. Actually, gray. Change it to gray. And I'm going to change it one pixel. See? How I changed it to dotted right there when you put your mouse over. Maybe you can also do dashed. Can you? Yeah, dashed. See how, how when you put your mouse over on it, it changes? Or you can just do a solid line. It's totally entirely up to you. Um, you're the coder, you're the one writing this code, and you know, doing your thing. So um, save that in. You're welcome to download it if you wanted to. Um, that's the beauty um, of CodePen. You can actually export it, you see? So all that beautiful code that you worked on, and it's all there. And you can export it and use it for your website or add things to it, add color, change color. Um, again, I'm not, this video is only about the menu. Uh, we're going to get deeper into it uh, as we go. So signing off, uh, this is Elias. Uh, be sure to follow us on Twitter. Also make sure um, to like this video, to share it with your friends that are interested in uh, doing this. And again, take care everybody. Bye-bye.